at WWE Backlash France, fans were taken aback as a surprising addition made their debut with the Bloodline. Contrary to expectations, it wasn't the anticipated figure, but rather Tangaloa who made the shocking entrance. Although Jacob Fatu, the former Major League Wrestling World Champion, has been frequently associated with the Bloodline in recent times and has officially signed with WWE, his debut with the faction is still pending. However, backstage murmurs suggest some reservations about Fatu's potential inclusion in the group, despite the apparent synergy. Here are four reasons why Jacob Fatu might not be the ideal fit for the Bloodline. Number 4, the numbers for a Bloodline Civil War are now set at 3 on 3. In the current iteration of the Bloodline led by Solo Sokoa, the faction comprises three members, Sokoa himself, Tama Tonga, and Tangaloa. Notably, Tonga and Loa share a real-life sibling bond, mirroring the dynamic of the Usos. Prior to Sokoa's inclusion, the dominant force of the bloodline in WWE consisted of Roman Reigns and the Usos, operating as a trio. Paul Heyman served as their eloquent spokesperson, but it was Sokoa who expanded the group into a quartet upon joining. However, the impending return of Reigns and Jimmy Uso introduces a potential dilemma. Adding another member to Sokoa's faction would disrupt the established numerical balance. While speculation persists about The Rock potentially aligning with them, his allegiance could significantly sway the power dynamics in favor of the original trio. Number 3, his presence as Sokoa is amped up to 11. During his early tenure with the group, Solo Sokoa was notably reserved, seldom speaking and less necessary. However, since assuming leadership, his vocal presence has become more pronounced. While still embodying the role of a stoic enforcer, Sokoa now holds the reins of the faction. The potential addition of Jacob Fatu introduces another enforcer archetype, albeit with a stark contrast in personality. Unlike Sokoa's quiet intensity, Fatu is characterized by his outspoken nature, animated demeanor, and unwavering intensity. The stark disparity in their personalities suggests that Fatu's presence could overshadow Sokoa's leadership. This misalignment in temperament is speculated to be one reason behind officials delaying Fatu's debut in the bloodline, as they aim to preserve the balance and authority established by Sokoa. Number 2, his move set is exciting and would get cheers. Prepare to be captivated if you haven't witnessed Jacob Fatu's in-ring prowess yet. Known as the Samoan Werewolf, he executes the traditional splash and Samoan drop with unparalleled power, thanks to his imposing six-foot stature weighing in at nearly 270 to 280 pounds. Adding to his arsenal is a remarkable moon's alt, reminiscent of the likes of Tiffany Stratton and Christopher Daniels. However, with Fatu's substantial frame, the impact of the move is intensified, especially when executed by someone of his size or comparable wrestlers like Ivar. Stars renowned for their dynamic move sets, such as Seth Rollins, Ricochet, and Pac, typically thrive in face roles. However, if fans find themselves cheering for Fatu's electrifying maneuvers, it could pose a challenge as he's positioned as a heel character, potentially undermining the intended narrative. Number 1. It would be hard to oppose Roman Reigns and potentially The Rock. Roman Reigns and The Rock undeniably stand out as the most prominent figures within the bloodline. The Rock's ascent to becoming one of the highest-grossing movie stars globally contrasts with WWE's positioning of Roman Reigns as the face of the company. Even within the wrestling realm, the Usos boast considerable visibility, having been mainstays in WWE for nearly 15 years. In comparison, Solo Sokoa, Tama Tonga, and Tangaloa have garnered less attention, despite their contributions. While Jacob Fatu has been part of the wrestling scene since 2012, it was his remarkable tenure as the MLW World Champion that catapulted him into the spotlight. His potential addition to Sokoa's iteration of the bloodline would certainly bolster their ranks. However, it would also present a formidable challenge in standing against two of the most influential stars of the past quarter century. What's your take on this? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon for more interesting content like this in future. Till then see you all in the next one. Thanks!